So who's in and who's out after stage five on the Chowan River for Major League Fishing, the Bass Pro Tour? That's what we're gonna talk about now. So if you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button. And let me just say, welcome to all the new people that have been subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully you will continue to comment and be part of the team and just enjoy the content that I put out. After every Major League Fishing, we go back in and check to see who's in and who's out for the 2025 season. If you don't know, Major League Fishing is gonna cut back to 65 anglers after this season. So we're gonna look at the 20 anglers that are outside of that top 60 because they're gonna take five anglers from the invitationals and other things to come into the BPT. So what I've done is I've put, made a spreadsheet of every angler's name and then where they finished in terms of the angler of the year placings. Now this does not remove their worst year and it's gonna make a really big difference as you'll see at the end. And then what I do is I have it add out to their average finish and then get their average total finish over the six years or in some cases for rookies, it's over one year. So the bottom 20 anglers are about to be eliminated. Either they go to the Invitationals or the BFL or they go back to the Leets and fish the Opens unless something is fishy, which very well could be. But we're gonna go on the, on the reasoning that there isn't anything fishy, but I'm rolling my eyes. Stage five was on the Chowan River, and it was an exceptional fishing tournament. There were a lot of good shallow water anglers that were, did well, and there were a lot of bank, they skipped banks and skipped into weeds. And also there were a lot of anglers that did used forward facing sonar. But overall, I think it was not 100% scopers. I think it was probably 65-35 in terms of scopers versus bank anglers. And it made for a really good tournament. And also it made for a lot of nice bass. There were some really big bass caught and that's always great to see and watch. But there's only two tournaments left. They're going to the James River and then they're going to the St. Lawrence River where scoping and forward facing sonar is gonna play a big part. But we don't wanna know about all that stuff. Let's just talk about the 20 anglers that are outside looking in, trying to get as many points as they can in these last two tournaments to hopefully continue to fish the Bass Pro Tour. But honestly, there's a few people that just, they don't have a chance. Boyd Duckett is one of those. No offense to Boyd, Boyd is dead last. Next, Cliff Crochet is in that, is really needs to have some seriously great fishing tournaments. Kelly Jordan and John Murray, and also Gary Klein need serious help to get in or to stay in the BPT. Marty Robinson, David Walker, Matt Lee, Scott Suggs, Brandon Coulter, Shin Fukai, Dean Rojas, Dave Lefebvre, Britt Myers, Keith Carson, who's a rookie, Justin Cooper, Randy Howell, Ryan Salzman, Jonathan Van Dam, and Fred Rubanis is in 55th place. Those last four or five guys probably will make it in because it is the top 60 anglers. But the thing I'm shocked about, and I'll just say it right up front, if James Watson was still here, I think he might have qualified. I mean, James is still ahead of Boyd and has missed three tournaments, which is mind boggling. But I think he might have made it in if things worked out his way. And I think he would have done well on the Chowan River, to be honest, because it's the type of fishing he likes to do. Anglers that were skipping and fishing shallow did great, but of course, he isn't in there. And there's several rookies that are in trouble also. Jacopo Galelli, Josh Weaver, Col Colby Schumpf, Jason Vance, Gray Buck. Matt, S Matt Steffen is on the borderline at that 58th in points. But those anglers that I mentioned are really on that verge of not getting their ticket punched for the 2025 season. So here's where it gets a little more interesting. And I'm just gonna use one person in this example, and it's Dean Rojas. Cause right now Dean is in, in my calculations, he's 62nd. But if we take away his worst year, because you can remove your worst year if you've been in the BPT for more than three years. If you remove his worst one year, it bumps him up to that 48th place. And that's significant. Now I couldn't remove or still can't remove their worst year because this year could be their worst. 
I think in Dean's, there was a 2019 where he, the first year that they had it, he didn't have a good year. And he's already got more points this year than that last, that 2019. So in Dean's case, he probably is in. And that's another thing with James. I think that if we removed his worst year and he still was able to fish, I think he probably would have made it. Only because there were a lot of anglers that have already left that automatically boost him up. But it's, this is not about James. It's not about worldwide. This is about those 20 anglers that are really need to have two fantastic endings. This is about the anglers trying to do their best in those last two events. And when those last two events happen, I'll try to make the video as fast as possible. But my numbers could be wrong for all I know. And like I said, hopefully there aren't any like secret things that have gone on or exemptions that allow an owner or someone else to continue to fish. Because that would be unfair to the guys that are really stressing out about continually on the Bass Pro Tour. But we only have two more tournaments to wait and find out. And hopefully we'll have a pretty good idea on who's in or who's out. So thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. If you want to comment below and ask a question or tell me what you think, I'd love to hear from you. So comment in the comment section. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Oh, I had to look down because the last time I did this, I didn't turn on the record button and it stinks. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.